that are happening. He says many will even drift away from him. And that's a very terrible thing. Because after coming to know Jesus, the Savior, the Lord of your life, and experiencing him and testifying of his greatness, then you go back into the world as if God doesn't exist. Or he's blessed you so much until you decide that you're only going to do this, you're only going to do that for the Lord, and put everything about God behind you. That, that's it. That's not what he's talking about here. You'll be one who is, who dry, who's drifting away from God. Do you understand what drifting means? Drifting is not coming to church every time, being faithful in your offering or giving, and going out and living the kind of life you know is unpleasing to God. That's drifting. Drifting is also being unfaithful to God in anything. It will continue to be in your life if you allow it to be. That's drifting. Anything that can separate you from God and from causing the things of God to be second place in your life. Anything that will cause you to drift away from him and to cause him not to be as strong in your life, in your relationship with him, as drifting. Anything that, 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 uh, that takes your attention from him, anything that causes you to put anything concerning him behind on second or third or fifth place, that's drifting. And if you continue to do that, when you turn around, you'll be so far out. There's a cartoon I saw one time, years ago. I don't think I'll ever forget it. It was this young man, this man was on, a, on one of those little balloon things, those little floating rubber things, and he went to the seaside, to the, to the beach. And he, uh, the conditions were right, and he lied down on that, and he just fell asleep. And about four or five hours later, he woke up. And you know what he saw? He saw in the distance the outline of the sea. I can tell you how much he drifted in the sea. Nobody stopped him. The tide just came and took him out to sea. And you know what came on him then? Fear. Not only because he was out so far away, but you know what he feared? The condition of his unknown environment. What's lurking? He knows what's ahead of, above him, yeah. but he didn't know what was below him. That's right. And what he had learned in life was that there's some big teeth sharks down there. Oh, yeah. And some other critters waiting to get him or may come for him. That's what caused the fear to happen. The condition of his environment that he did not know. And so many of you are, are focusing right now on so many things apart from what God is telling you to do. You're spending so much time in the secular world and, and the only one you're robbing is the time with God. That's the time you should be, you should have in, in the forefront of you. Uh, do, do the opposite thing. Put God first. Anything you got to do for God, you put it in your heart and you make sure make the provision to do it and to do it the best you can. God will not accept, accept anything less. Guarantee you. Because that's what he said. He gave us his best. Himself. So here, in this world in which we live, there are many of you going through situations in your homes today that's causing you to drift away from, from even coming to church. Even being faithful in supporting the ministries. Will God, what will God do? God will support the ministry. But you won't get the fullness of his blessings. Many of you are there uh, having all kinds of gripes about the ministries that you, that you were in or, or in. And you, 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 you're doing as if it is God who's doing you in. Remember here. We are of God's house, the scripture says. And his word was be predominant in our lives all the time. We can't take revenge against somebody because we'll be doing it against God. Catch yourself. Wherever you are today, remember that these kinds of times that we live in are uncertain times. And you will find yourself drifting away from God as clear as it is day. Because many of you now, because of the pandemic, we don't know, nobody knew that this was going to come. And then the Word of God talks about people falling away. Nobody, everybody might have thought, well, I'm going to, I'm going to just backslide and think, 
No. It comes in so many ways. 